Hi everyone, David Mitchell here from Baby Renovations and it's the end of week one of our Brady Road project in Bentley East and as you can see it has been an action-packed week. So the guys have pulled out absolutely everything, they've completed the rip out and started framing. So to rewind a little bit, I'm actually standing in the master bedroom. There used to be a robe here and um and pretty much a wall you you couldn't see into that bedroom there that was a bedroom here and there used to be a door there right there so what we've done is we have removed obviously the robe and we've built here the frame where the new sliding cavity door is going to go we haven't had to adjust the lintel or anything like that so no load bearing modifications at all to that wall um, basically just um, frame to suit what will be the walk-in robe. So basically the door will be on this side here. Um, we walk through into the robe um, and then on the right hand side here there'll be um, a robe against that wall there. On this side over here we've removed that window and that window is going to be cut into two so there'll be a smaller window on this side of the new frame that'll service a small desk here that'll be inside the robe and then there'll be a little tall cupboard there inside the robe as well. So hopefully that makes sense. So they'll still have robes here, robes there, door going through into another robe on the right and a little um, home office desk on the left. Then the next little room uh, is the ensuite. So you can see here again, that's framed there for a sliding cavity door that'll slide back that way. You walk into the ensuite and you see that little hole here in the frame. That's for the vanity shaving cabinet, which we just picked up today. We brought it here. And then you can see here on the right hand side will be our new shower, walk in shower. It'll be really, really big. In fact, there's a screen that goes right across the face of it. You can see that niche there, the really big niche in the back of the shower. You can see how the guys, my carpenters, have laminated, upsized uh, joists to the existing uh, joists in place, and that enables us to rip the joists down to put the strip grade in. Uh, on the left-hand side, the toilet will go here, and then again, there'll be another little window here. So that large window opening, we haven't modified that structurally at all. We've just removed the window. We're putting a small window on that side and a small window on that side, both awning windows, so you can open them. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then on the other side um, of this wall is the main bathroom. It's the old main bathroom. So that's the door. The door is staying in the same location. Um, and then over there where that toilet point is, that's an old toilet and shower that used to be accessed from the laundry. So that back part is becoming the new shower. And you can see again how we've modified the floor joists to be upsized and create fall for the uh, the strip grate. And you can see our, our niche in the back wall as well. Um, so basically there'll be a wall put in there and then that little section there will be the new toilet. Um, so the guys have still got a bit of framing to do, but within a one week period, that's a lot of work completed. So you can see the hallway here, that's the old doorway that we framed in, that's the back of the new shower. If we come down here, this is the old doorway to the, the main bathroom, and again, it'll be exactly the same. You can see our new bath niche here. There's a new window going in here. It's just exact same size, but just higher because there's a bath going underneath it. And then on the right hand side, as I said, you can see here, this is where the shower base will be. Strip grate along the back there, shower niche there. Um, and then on this side, we'll have, we're actually going to build an additional wall. We're gonna build a brand new wall inside this wall and that'll enable us to put two shaving cabinets inside the wall back to back with this big shaving cabinet that's also inside the wall. It'll make more sense as we go along. And then over here, in this side, so this is the, the main bathroom door, this is the laundry door. We've shifted the laundry door from here across to here. And the reason we've done that is because there's a door that'll go in here into the new powder. So the new powder will be in that little section in there. And if you can see where we've cut the floor here, that's for the new frame for the uh, for the shaving cabinet um, 
in and the vanity in the powder room so there'll be a door that goes there and um so the guys have actually framed the um the laundry door um to be moved across we're not modifying the laundry at all it's actually staying in place and you can see there that existing uh, lintels all stayed in place so again nothing structural at all there we're just literally moving the door across um, it's really clever the way that this um, this renovation has been designed because there's no real structural changes in in relation to load bearing walls or anything we're just better use of space of this whole side of the house so hopefully that makes sense um, so the guys this week will continue framing um, we'll have um, the plumbers and electricians come in at the start of next week um, and then obviously um, we'll finish carpentry and that's when our plasters will come in but for now it's looking fantastic thanks for watching